What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another amazing episode of Taking a Risk with George George and the family. And on this beautiful day, we found a secluded beach. Not really secluded, apparently a lot of people know about it, but it's still hidden and it's far off the beaten trail. It's called Sombrero Beach. So smash that thumbs up button and let's go explore. Before we get to exploring, I did get this new drone. It's called the Hover Air X1. If you want to get yours, check the description down below. I'm going to unbox it. We're going to play with it here in a second. All right, let's see what you get when you open it. There it is right there, the beautiful drone. I did get it in white because I thought it would be more discreet. It does come in black as well. Very cool. It's wrapped up in this box as well. So it's a box inside of a box. You get your battery charging hub, which is very convenient. It charges both of the batteries at the same time. I believe there's one actually in the box as well and two more right here for plenty of flight time and tons to do. Correction, this is not a battery. This is just a foam block and it tricked me, but there you go. It comes with two batteries, I'm pretty sure. And I thought some charging cables, which might be in here as well. It is quite windy today, so we're gonna see how this drone holds up against the wind. It does have a pretty decent wind resistance. I think only a level four, but that's still pretty good. Oh, I'll see you later, box. All right, so I got it unpackaged and it does come in this sleeve, but check this out. This box is beautiful. And this is one cool drone I cannot wait to show you guys. And the really cool thing is it's not like traditional drones. You don't actually fly it around with a controller. It actually flies on its own and it takes off from your palm and it lands back in your palms. All right, so taking the cover off here, you got your flight manual and your quick start guide in this little packet right here. You've got your before your first flight, which they think they do want you to do it indoors before your first flight. But there you go. There's the first things you got to do. And there it is right there. Look at how discreet this is. Believe it or not, look at that. In the palm of my hand, it just fits in the palm of my hand. And when it's opened up, it's just a little bit bigger. But check this out. Just like a cell phone, it fits right in your pocket. Talk about discretion and movability. This thing is great for taking into anywhere you want to go. And also in here, you've got your charging cable, which is just a USB-A to a USB-C, which is perfect. And you've got this nifty carrying case right here. Super soft as well. Hold the Hover Air X1 horizontally in the palm of your hand. Press the power button once, waiting for Hover Air X1 to take off. Withdraw your hand after it takes off. Don't take, don't keep it there, or else it might land back in your hand. After the Hover Air X1 returns to the takeoff position, wait for the green light to come up. Place your hand 20 centimeters below Hover X1 to keep it still. Wait for Hover Air X1 to automatically land on your palm of your hand and stop the propellers, then retract. Super simple. So there it is all unfolded. Check it out. It still fits in the palm of my hand, even like this. And this drone has some amazing capabilities. I'm going to need both my hands to turn it on since I don't have any help. Everybody's playing at the park today, which it is what a beautiful day to play at the park. Just a little bit windy, but it's still absolutely gorgeous. And I can't believe we found this amazing park over here. All right, so there we go. It's turned on. Oh, what a beautiful little music. Please connect to your phone and activate your device with the Hover app. So we should probably do that first. Check it out. I just logged in and set up an account and look at the different modes they have. They have the hover mode, the zoom out, follow, orbit, bird's eye, snapshot, dolly track, and manual control. And look at the cute little avatars that they have and they show you exactly what the drone is going to be doing which whichever one you click on. So I'm going to go ahead and try out the hover, the zoom out, the follow, probably the orbit, the bird's eye, <laughs> and maybe the dolly track and we'll see what happens. All right, so now that I have all that set up, let's see, turn it back on. There it goes, it turned green. It's in my hand. Should wait for that little music to turn on. Oh wow, look at the camera moving. There it goes. Hover, so let's see. Ah, oh, I might have to do that again. All right, so everything is finally connected and it's ready to go. All I gotta do is press the little power button on top and it will hover. So give me one second because I need both my hands. All right, while well, getting it set up, and I did have it fly already, the quality is pretty good and the way it follows you is amazing. The wind picked up really bad and actually took it a little bit. So I'm nervous to lose it. We are right by a beach. I don't want it getting swept into the water at all. So I think I might try this somewhere else where there's less wind. So hang tight. Oh my goodness, we had no clue. We've been here almost two weeks that this beautiful beach was here. Holy moly. Wow, the sand is so soft. 
and that water looks absolutely divine. Oh my goodness, how did we not know about this? I don't know, but I love it. I this is beautiful. Wow, yes, so look at how beautiful that sand is. You guys did an amazing job. This is one of the nicest beaches we've been to, right? Yeah, the sand is so perfect. Yes, I wish we would have come here sooner. Why didn't anybody tell us about this? But that's actually a good thing because it's not very well known. Look at that, she made a perfect little octopus. How cool, good job, Yazzie. All right, so while this beach is absolutely beautiful and amazing, we actually didn't come here to swim and that's our mistake. So we're gonna go run back to the RV, get on our swim stuff, and we are gonna go swimming in this beautiful water. And we're going somewhere else with a friend to a super secret location that you can only access by bike and we're gonna have to hook up our wagon to the bike. So that'll be a lot of fun, so let's go. I don't know what it is about dad lately, but I've been getting this little nugget to just pass out. Look at that, in the most uncomfortable positions too. We were just sitting here talking to some lady who actually is from Germany. That was super duper cool and she's been traveling the States for a while. So she asked us if we were planning on traveling in Europe. I said, of course we do, just not yet. We gotta get some money and some followers first. Before we go though, we do have to check out this park a little bit more. We do have people waiting on us. Look at Jack's go, my goodness. You guys were playing in the water in your clothes. I don't even know why we bother going to change into our swim stuff because you guys have already been swimming. What are you gonna do, kiddo? You gonna do something cool? You gonna do a flip? <laughs> Woo! A little ninja boy, I love it. And a little monkey girl behind him. Goodness gracious, you kids. Yes? Would you like to go buy some cookies? Look at that sweet girl. Jackson couldn't find his shoes and she went and found him immediately. You're so sweet. You ready? You ready? You ready? You racing? Yes. Oh man, look at that kid go. Pew! The houses in this area are absolutely gorgeous. And I told the honey, this is a new goal. Oh, look at those. Those ones look nice and ripe. Oh man, if Jackson sees those, he's gonna want me to jump up. There. I don't know if those are papayas or what. Oh my goodness, but back to what I was saying, the houses in this area are absolutely gorgeous and I promised her for our retirement, I'm gonna get her a property down here. I don't care if it's a shack by the beach or a tent, I'm getting her something down here. This area is absolutely gorgeous. All right, so here it is. Here is footage from the Hover Air X1. Look at this thing, follow me. Look at that, I'm putting my phone away. It's not controlled by the phone. It literally is a smart drone that follows you and flies on its own. Check this view out. I'm still learning whether or not it can capture audio. I don't think so, but the footage it captures is absolutely remarkable. And check this out. It is going to shut off and it lands in your hand. But now we're on to the next part. Look at it follow me under this bridge. Absolute awesome footage this thing takes. It looks like it's in 4K to me. Not 100% sure. It's definitely in high definition. And it has no issue. And this was a very windy day. And it followed me perfectly. Now come to Papa. Come on. Come to Papa. There it is. There it is. Look at it. It's trying. Got it. All right. A few words of wisdom here. It is very windy. Like, look at these trees swaying behind me. This thing is extremely light. I do not suggest doing what I'm doing. And I'm trying to use it in the wind because it is such a beautiful day. Check this out, it took off on me. The wind grabbed it and I was looking all over for it and there it is nestled safely in the tree. <laughs> it looks like it's perfectly fine but I'm gonna grab it here in just a second and we're gonna check it out. All right, there we go, I got it out and everything does seem to be fine. Because of this protective cage, I swear, this thing is very hard to damage which is wonderful for somebody like me who's not using it appropriately. Good Lord, is it windy. All right, so the place that we're going is off the beaten trail. We actually have to park our car and walk, and it's about two miles. So instead of doing that, we were told by our friends to bring our scooter and our wagon and our bike. So check out this rig that I set up. Super duper cool. I already drove it down here to test drive it. We rode from all over there, and this worked flawlessly. Absolutely excited to take these kids over here. All right, and we're off. Check these kids out. Hello. Hello. All right, we're gonna slow it down. There's a big bottle. Oh my god, nice. Wow. Wow, this is nuts. I know, this is so cool. I'll give you guys a front view here in a second as soon as I get balanced. How oh, awesome. You guys loving that view? Check that out. This is nuts. Hey, listen to that little boy back there. <laughs> he is so cute. Oh, yes, yeah, a bumpy ride. 
Look at this, folks. There's no way we're making it around this. We're going to have to get off and push. <laughs> Honestly, very upset I couldn't film the rest of our journey up here. It was quite bumpy and quite extreme. I actually switched to the scooter and let the honey take on with the, with the bike and the wagon. But check out this view. This is what it's all for. You want to go down there and look? Yes. In just a second. This is so beautiful. My goodness. Yeah, be careful going down there, guys. This is what my childhood would have been like. Absolutely love it. You got couples over there about to do some cool dives into the water, I think. Hopefully not. I don't want to catch somebody doing that. It'd be scary. Check that out. My goodness. So apparently this used to be a bridge that would take you to the other side. I honestly could not imagine what happened to this bridge, but this is absolutely beautiful. Those are all mangroves, in case you guys can't tell all mangroves and check out that clear-ish water i think i might go swimming i did wear my swimming trunks everybody else wore their swimming gear we thought this was coming to a beach but this is pretty amazing we're gonna do some fishing here in a second check out the size of this shrimp that is a prehistoric shrimp that is massive this is bigger than this kid's hand <laughs> what are you guys planning to catch with these giant shrimp um Large mouth bass? Hopefully extra large mouth bass. Not in the ocean, those are freshwater. What is this? Salt water. This is a saltwater it's, river? It's not a river, it's just a current. It's connecting the Gulf and the um, Atlantic Ocean. Oh, so this is a strait. Yeah, this is just like connecting them. Wow. So this straight out to the right, that's the Gulf of, Mex Gulf of Mexico. And then to the left is the bay side. Atlantic Ocean. Wow. Yep. Very beautiful. Check out the road that we came in. It just goes and goes and goes and look at this right over our shoulder. That big brother goldfish looking thing. That's not so gold, we'll call it the silverfish. Just hovering ominously. Hmm. Beautiful. Check out this big girl. Go ahead. She loves helping with the fish. They're grabbing that shrimp like it's nothing. Such a big girl. You don't care to do girly girl things. Yes, you do. You love doing your makeup and your nails, but you'll also go fishing. Oh, yeah. You one heck of a woman. This is absolutely wild and this thing is beeping. It's about to lose charge. I wish I could have filmed before, but I was so nervous. Now I'm doing this with one hand. Check this road out. Oh my goodness. This is wild. Look at that, one hand in it. Whoa. I wanted to do an action shot going under this thing. Oh man, I could have made it under there, but there was a guy, I don't know if you guys saw me race past me. And he had to stop because he had to go under and I definitely could have made it, but we're going back again. This thing is still beeping. Man, the things I do for you guys. Woo! Look my one hand. This is too cool. Woo this road ain't no joke, folks. Wow! And this thing is just beep beep beeping at me. I can't believe it survived that long and I am 100% a full-on advocate for this electric scooter now. Look at this. Whoa! Oh no, the mud. Had to hop off there. There was no getting through that. Here we go! Slow and on your right. Ooh, we're so close to being back, I can taste it. 
and then we got to go grocery shopping even though we leave in a few days we still got to get some fruits and vegetables i love my fruits and the kids love their vegetables uh oh i just got a double beep 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 wow this is nuts this thing was going so much faster earlier i just can't believe how well it's handling these bumps and this rocks i can't believe how well i'm doing with one arm man oh man but my legs are tired my brain is rattled my teeth are chattered. This is too cool. If you ever get a chance, email me and I'll let you know where this area is. And I cannot believe this scooter made it all the way back nearly two miles on only like a quarter of the charge. These things are awesome. I am 100% an advocate and I want to get one now. And this belongs to the Everywhere family. Let me use it. And now we're back to regular roads. Wow, this is nuts. Oh. I made it! Yes, what? You made it too? Wow! Great it. job, honey. You did amazing Look on that. The kids did amazing. Back there, they were like, "Are you gonna make it? Are you gonna make it?" Woo! Oh, oh yeah! Wow, that was too much fun. I could do that again. Yeah. You want to go back? Not for the bugs. If it wasn't for the bugs, <laughs> they don't even go back. But literally, I want to do that shot, like that, like little crazy walkway. I don't know what it's called. I would definitely do that again. Just for an epic ride. All right, so that's going to be it for today's adventure. We had so much fun going to the beach, playing with my new drone, a super duper cool, and exploring that extremely hidden, cool little straight river, whatever you want to call it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do so and turn on all notifications. That way you're notified the instant we upload a new video. Make sure you check down in the description. We have three other links to our TikTok, our Instagram, and our Facebook. There's additional content that you'll see there that you will not see here on YouTube. So make sure you check that out. And remember, everybody, life's not worth living if you're not taking, taking a risk. risk.